Namibia continues to experience an acute shortage of affordable housing. The biggest backlog is with those that earn between zero to $1,500 with an estimated backlog of 45000 while those earning 1501 to $4,000 are estimated at 30,000 units. The ministry, however, explained that institutions like the National Housing Enterprise only provide for those that earn more than $5,000 a month, which is less than 13% of the population. In an attempt to remedy the issue, government through the line ministry has invested $45 billion for the servicing of land and the construction of housing. As part of support to the mass housing development program, budgetary provision for the servicing of 10,200 plots amounts to 437 million 166,000 for the construction of service in 27 towns for the first phase, while 261 million 193,000 Namibia dollars is allocated to other places which are not part of the first phase of the mass housing program. This is to ensure that we will have enough plots to construct houses when we roll out the second phase of the program. Unlike in the past where we've had funds for construction of houses, but not enough for servicing plots. The National Housing Enterprise, as the implementing agent of the Mass Housing Program, has been allocated $220 million to strengthen its capacity in order to implement phase one of the program. The ministry has also set aside $207 million for the construction of three town council offices, 15 constituency offices, 10 traditional authority offices, 8 settlement offices, and 6 regional office parks. Salmi Hangula, NBC News, Venduk.